guys. Just wanted to quickly stop by. Um, I bought this dot journal from Kmart. It was relatively cheap, maybe like $9 um, to track the TV shows that I've that I've watched in the past and that I'm watching now and sort of write a little bit of what I think about the show. Um, it stemmed from the fact that there were TV shows that the season would end and I'd be waiting for the next one to come on and um, then I'd just forget about it and then you know down the track I'd be thinking oh I wonder what happened in that TV show oh I wonder if that season came out and um, years would go by and I just would blank I just would forget about it so anyway um, I thought I'd get one of these I am not artistic so this is definitely not going to be like the bullet journals that I've seen when I've googled it or gone on Pinterest or anything like that but for me it's a really good brain dump so I don't have to try and you know find this information in my very tired mum brain um, but, so I've just put some TV series premiere dates here at the front and I think I'll find a little sticker or something to put here to make that a little prettier but I um, I've just started off in May and as I said I'm not artistic so I found some little stickers that were actually gifted to me by the Lunar Planner Mum she is by far one of the loveliest people I have ever uh, come across online we met on Instagram which is lovely um, she actually has a YouTube channel as well so you should probably head over there and have a look and um, get to know her she's really quite lovely so anyway um, so these are the TV shows that we watched in May and I've just highlighted the episodes as we've watched them. Um, anyway, so I won't show you what I've written because no one wants a spoiler. But on this page, it's just my thoughts page and um, I've just gone through for each, each uh, show and put sort of a star rating uh, for how that certain season was for me how that sort of left me feeling um i've gone through and i've done that for all of them I've, at this top i've put just a little little quote uh, that i can relate to or that i find funny um and then i went on to june i feel like we watched more than this but we did watch a lot of swat we we, we binge watched that um which is which is fine, you know, it's what we do when the kids go to sleep at night because we're far too tired to do anything else. Um, and then once again, I've got my, my little thoughts page and my star ratings for each one. Um, and then I've brought that through to July. We've just started watching LA's Finest and this is the perfect example because we were sitting there watching it last night and I... Um, and I realized that the lady, one of the main characters in it, looked really familiar. And I, I was racking my brain for so long. Like, where have I seen her before? I feel like I've watched a TV show with her in it. So anyway, um, I was just on my computer here and I, I Googled the LA Finest uh, cast list and I found her. And I went through to have a look at what um, TV shows she'd done before. And like, yep, I have. I did watch a show uh with her in it before and it looks like there's actually a lot more seasons than what i would have watched it says it was up to 2019 i definitely um didn't watch it since then so i'm really excited to watch that again because i really enjoyed um that that show uh it's called being mary jane if anyone's watched that before she's sort of a badass businesswoman taken on life which you know i love her a strong female character um, so anyway so this continues through now I've done that until December and then I sort of just check if this system's working for me then and if not I'll change it up I've also at December put a little section for Christmas movies I really wanted to do a like a Christmas movie advent sort of thing. So um, from the 1st of December leading up to Christmas, watch a Christmas movie or something like that with the kids. Um, anyway, so 
after that I've put in my little lifetime list here so these are seasons that I definitely know I've watched in the past and I've tried getting on Google and reading the blurbs and stuff to find out where I'm up to and the TV shows I'm 100% sure that I finished um, you know they were easy enough to sort of color in um, but you know like when I was doing this it took me hours my hands were killing me but all I could think in my head was like I feel like this is almost my greatest achievement in life this is the one thing I've stuck to the most <laughs> is being a binge watcher when the kids go to sleep um, so there's a lot of ones that I haven't gone through and figured out where I was up to just because some of uh, like the episode uh, little blurb things aren't always super clear so it's hard to know but it is on my to-do list as you can see there is a lot of them um, I don't know if maybe I'll go through and put a little star rating on some of these like I loved Bridget and uh, I didn't love like the Queen's Gambit as much um, yeah and some that I know have ended and won't have any more episodes I've written that after so that I know that's it that's done and I don't have to add any more um, <clears throat> so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and write in this being Mary Jane while I'm thinking about it because I haven't got that on my list yet and I don't want to forget and I know as soon as I finish doing this I'll be back to forgetting everything um so my handwriting is actually atrocious but honestly this isn't um this isn't something I actually intended on sharing with anyone but I thought that I'd maybe come up with a little cool idea here Uh, so I'm just going to click on it real quick and see how many seasons it ended up being. Um, so season five seasons and that, that last one aired in April 2019. So I definitely didn't watch this after Aria was born and she will be four this August. So I feel like maybe I only watched season one and maybe season two. So I'm really excited to finish that. That is actually great. Um, it can get a bit lonely here sometimes when the older kids are at school and Chris is at work and uh, the little girls have a nap or whatever. Uh, so it's always nice to have these TV shows to sort of half watch. <laughs> Uh, so you'll have to let me know in the comments if you've got um, a bullet journal or dot journal, whatever you want to call it, or how you track TV shows or books or podcasts that, you know, you like to, like to have down on paper. Because if there is an easier way than this, maybe I will adapt and um, create something else. Yeah, so uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the, the thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Slightly Organized Chaos. Um, and so I go into a lot more of my day-to-day -day mum life over there. And I quite like getting to know people, uh, you know, that like similar things that I do, the planning and the organising and um, that have toddlers that keep you awake at night and keep you on your toes in the day. And so let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to do. Bye.